We're going to draw our minds. A few things you need to equip right from the get-go before we save. Equip, have oil equipped, and also equip the sickle. Why? Because you're going to be need to be flip, you're going to have to flip some switches in this dungeon while you're on this minecart. And um, if you have any other weapon, it's just straight in front, where the sickle will hit in all directions. So here we go. Okay, hit some thingies here. And I made the wrong choice. Okay, so don't hit that first switch. Got it. Also, um, cure and heal magic will be beneficial here. So, okay, avoid the first switch. Hit the second switch. Hit the third switch. And I think that should be it. And, yep, we're done with minecart ride. That's why I actually uh, suggest using the sickle, because any other weapon, you're going to be on that forever. And that's why I did my first time. So anyway, here's Watts. So, so Watts is looking for silver, so we're going to go together. So Watts is our new partner, and Watts' ask ability is kind of cool. And I'm going to do something specific first. I'm going to use Cure. Next, I am going to save. Now, Watts' ask ability is kind of interesting. He basically sells you stuff. He's basically a walking, talking shop. So, a few things I'm going to do first is... Well, I'm just showing you what he has. He has brosaurs, keys, ethers, pures, cures. No, that's actually what I have. Never mind. Now, what you can buy from him is pretty much what you can normally get. Uh, pure eye drops, soft, um... What is that cure? Soft cure something. I think it cures, like, sleep or whatever. Moogle is, is it's, that's the one ability that uh, heal does not cure. It, it heals the Moogle status. Now, this is a pointless item to get, because technically this cures the Moogle status. The catcher, the clincher, though, is you cannot use any magic or items while you're in the Moogle status, making this, um, this item completely useless. Um, so, keys and Maddox, if you need any, he has them. Also, he has X Cure. Which is the next um, highest? Um, it's actually the highest uh, cure I uh, cure item out there. It cures 100 HP. We don't have that much HP yet. Uh, yet we will later. Um, before the end of this dungeon, I will be buying one of these. Uh, but for now, I'm pretty confident in my ability. So let's venture on with my sickle and stuff. And actually, right off the bat, we need a medic. So, here, die, die. I kind of like the sickle. Sickle is one of my favorite items, along with like uh, the chain. I love the chain. And we have found some cure. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right. I used up the oil. Crap. I could have bought the X cure. No. Oh. No. 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 keys do we have? A lot, obviously. Actually, I can buy the X cure now. So, I'm going to buy... Yes, you have nice, useful things. I'm going to buy one X cure. Which will be very useful as we go on. Now, yep, there's a path here. And... Oh, nope. That won't do. Dead... Dead spider is dead. Manic the pots. And down the stairs we go. I didn't think the boss was yet because we have to get the silver. It's too soon for the boss. I mean, there are going to be dungeons later on where the boss is pretty... Uh, uh, the dungeon's not very big. And, you know, the boss is not very far in the dungeon, but not this one. 
Ooh, this is kind of cool. Whenever, um, whenever you have the dark status on you, even your your status screens and everything will be dark like this. That's very inverted uh, color, you know, negative color scheme. So, I would like to have more MP. I really would like to have more MP. So I would like to do more. That's not on the cards for right now. I have. I'm good with uh, items and stuff. So far, I don't have to break out the uh, fire magic. I would like to keep the cure and heal magic uh, handy for later on, though. For now, as long as I don't do anything stupid with a matic, I should be fine. Okay. Four. So far, this dungeon's pretty straightforward. I mean, I might have gone into a little bit of a pickle if I... Why is this making me nervous? This is making me very nervous for some reason. I'm going to equip my cure magic. I'm going to save because that looks like a boss chamber down there. And it is! Welcome to the boss, Megapede. Now he has a very predictable pattern. Um, he'll actually kind of X his way around the arena. Um, if he enters in, ouch. If he enters in through the right, he'll go up, eventually. If It's a figure-eight pattern. If he enters in through the bottom, he will go left. Rinse, wash, repeat. Very, very easy pattern. So just stick in one of the corners and hit him if he becomes available. Stop doing stupid stuff. You know, he'll come to you. It might take a little bit of time. Because, you know, going out of your way like that is pretty much, uh, you're pretty much sure to get yourself killed and hurt like I'm being stupid and doing. Well, well, listen to your own advice. Thankfully, see the great thing is you see that shield there. It's not decoration. It will your shield will actually deflect damage if it's, if um if you're standing if it you know like a projectile hits it or an enemy hit, hits or whatever. Uh, your shield can actually deflect damage. You can use that to your advantage if you you know you're not like me and you're actually smart when playing this game. Going to kill the Megapede. That was great. So now we get the Ma we defeat the Megapede and we get silver. Well, that was a quick dungeon. So Watt says he's going to take it back and force some armor and swords. Yay! New equipment. And of course, guys, going last through. But in taking us all the way back to the dwarf cave, lucky us, we have to hike our way back. So. Up your battle axe, everybody. Save your game and move through. So it's pretty much the same track, track that we had before, only this time we're going the other way. And as always, I kind of get my, you know, sense of directions all mixed it up. Come here. Oh man, maze of cut trees. Come here. I have an idiot I need to kill. There we go. So, what is what is a very stupid businessman? Yeah, I can't carry anything. What do I have on me? Item. I think I'm good item wise. Okay, let's move that there. Yeah, I could probably get rid of some keys, but I don't think that's a smart move. So you know what? I'm just going to start skipping items. That's what I'm going to do as I get further in the game. If I feel secure with what I have item wise. I'm not going to get anything, because it doesn't make sense to. You know, you don't have to pick up every item, because sometimes it might not be worth it. And like I said, you know, some of it could be like, you, it could be like just money-making items, like gold or rubies, like that. And like I said, you're going to get a lot of money in the course of the game. 
So, if you remember the one room in Dwarf Cave that had absolutely nobody there, well, Watts has decided to take up shop. Now, unlike in the cave where he sold you a bunch of items, if you talk to him here, he does not have those items. So, if you want to buy anything that he has in the cave, buy him before you get to the boss. So, here we can buy some silver armor, a silver shield, and a silver sword. Unfortunately, no silver helmet. Now, while we're at it, we might as well sell our broadsword. Because silver sword does about the same thing, only it's more effective. So, let's put on our silver equipment. Equip all of our silver equipment. Move our battle axe up here, axe up here and sell, sell our, our, our iron equipment. So... Here's the iron armor. And it goes the iron shield. So now with that, we can actually make our way to uh, what was it, guys, uh, guys, pass or guys, guys, naval or whatever. So anyway, onwards. That is, by the way, the exit to guys' pass. The entrance is actually right up here. So this time she'll actually let us pass where before she wouldn't. I'm going to save. And it's time to start a new dungeon. The interesting thing, I actually talked about how um, um, I actually had to play through the game again. Which means that I couldn't record when I wanted to the other day. But what I didn't know was I really, really wanted to record that day. Because sometimes you just feel, I don't know... You just feel in that mood to record. You know, you can get, you feel energetic and have, can have a lot of good commentary. Commentary, and what the crap just happened? Okay, that was strange. Question it. Look here now. And we're out. So wait, bulb. Hey, wait a minute. So, in order to get through Gaia's navel, or uh, you had to have so some silver on you, or else Gaia wouldn't let you through. Which means Bogard had silver the entire time. We could have gone. We could have fought Lee, and fought. We could have just taken on Julius with silver equipment. But no. <sighs> yeah. Okay, whatever. So he tells us where to go up next. We have to go up north. So now we get Bogart to help us. Now Bogart's ask ability, all he does is he tells you how to use your will abilities. Which, if you don't know by this point already, well now you do. So, I'm going to save because we got out there. And let's just head north, shall we? I'm going to kill these stupid werewolves. Die. Chief, I, if I remember, I think I need my axe again. Because whenever there's trees, they will probably make you use the axe. A lot of werewolves. Should probably get my power up soon, too. And, you know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, um, I just found the mood for recording that one time, and it would have been some very interesting comedy, uh, some very interesting commentary because you know I was just in that really excitable mood, and you know I could have really enjoyed myself and really had a fun time with it. And unfortunately, that just did not happen. I think this is just a shop. No, this is an inn. So I'm going to take advantage of this inn and spend the night here. Now, um, if you want to farm around here, this this is a good place to do it because the inn is right here. If not, just head up north. I probably should have... Let me guess. Yep. Okay. 
So I got lost. No big deal. I'll take any extra experience. Those are probably mandrakes. Because they're weighing, weighing at you. Yeah. Head west from the inn. Kill these things. I'm just keeping the axe handy because it's very handy and it's very useful in this area. Ouch. Crap. I'm going to be forced to... Uh... How about I ignore you? How do you like that? Okay, I was afraid I was going to be forced to pick up that treasure chest. That will happen every once in a while. Where, um... Actually... While I'm at it, I am going to equip... I am going to equip fire. chain. That'll happen every once in a while where um, an enemy will drop a uh, chain here, let your will gauge re uh, charge away. An enemy will drop a chest, chest, and where they drop it is you have no choice but to pick it up in order to proceed, or to get out of the room. So in that case, it's pretty much in your best interest to just It's in your best interest at that point just to um, just to drop something or use something and and pick whatever's in the chest up. You can get rid of it later. So wisdom is getting to to be you know to a nice level. Um, I'm going to continue using it. Well, it's a bit of a chain puzzle. So we'll move around here. Come here, fish man. Normally I ignore them, but... He was in the way. Okay. So, we are here at the airship, and just up ahead is Leaf. Uh, but... However, instead of going after her right now, I think I'm going to take a break because I know what I want to do in the next few recording sessions and what I want to accomplish. So right here is the best st stopping, uh, stopping point before I go on to the next chunk of story. So I will see you uh, next time, guys, when we tackle the airship and try to rescue Leaf. But until then, I am Bobozak, signing out.